Hello everyone. Now in this video, I will explain about the slicer. The slicer one of the most interesting and fascinating visuals in this Power BI visuals. A slicer is a visual filter where you choose a data type and the report automatically filters the visuals accordingly. Filters are great for grabbing quick snapshot of data relating to a specific fields. For example, using a ear filter alongside a line chart to allow users to quickly move between different time stamps of their data. Now we'll see in the more detail here. So click on the slicer. Adjust its size and put it in this corner. And move the order date here. Now we can see the order date range from 0301-2014 to 32-2017 here. Now we will put some visuals here. So first start with the stack column chart. Your x axis category and y axis the profit will move. Now we will take another visual here. We will take the subcategory. And y axis the profit. Now we will take one more visuals here, pie chart. We will move the sales here, value. And legend the region. Now we will take some cards as well. Cards will take the total profit. Now we'll take another now we'll take another cells here. Yes, now we'll see in the more detail. We can see this is the slicer. Suppose we Slice the date here. Now we can see all the value have been changed here. Profit, sales, profit by category, profit by subcategory. There is changes here. Now when this sales by region wise, this value also changes based on the applying date criteria here. Now we'll see more. Again we see changes here. Profit, sales. Profit by subcategory, profit by category, sales by region, as all are getting changes here. So like that it works. We can see all the values changes here. Now we'll see some more option here. Now this is between. Suppose you want to see the value between two dates, so we can change here. So just take an example like 2014 January, we get 14 Jan here. So, so between two dates, what are the different value? We can see all those. Now what is the next here? Now before. Now what is the sales value before any particular date? In our case, I have taken 1st August 2016. 
if you want we can change it or change it whatever we wish we like we can change it so before particular date what was the different value like profit by category profit by subcategory sales by region profit sales whatever value we can see all, all are getting changes here now after suppose we want to wanted to see value after any particular date we can make those changes as well here like just take an example 2017 like like this we can make the date change and we can see the value are getting changes here now list we can select the multiple dates here So based on the selection of the date, all our value getting changes here. Now drop down. From drop down, we can select the multiple dates. And on those dates, whatever the values, we can see all those things here. Now relative date here. Like last one month. Okay, we'll take last one year. Like this is the 06082022. So uh, it is taking the system date since our data year 2017. That's why new value is not showing here. No problem. We'll take the last six years. See, now we can see the value from the today. What are the last six years uh, profit sales? Uh, we can see all those changes here. If you want, we can take the last seven years also. So different value we can see. Now relative, relative time also. Suppose you wanted to see the sales of profit in the last one hour, last two hour. We can see all those changes here. Now. In the order date, we'll apply the hierarchy. Yes. Now we can see all the dates here. Why do you get 2014, 15, 16, 17? Suppose you wanted to analyze the data for year 2015, we can see like profit sales, profit by category, profit by subcategory, sales by region. Now, suppose in, in year 2015, we want the data of any particular quarter here. So we can see all, all those things. Like this is a data of quarter one, quarter two. Suppose you want quarter two, quarter three. So like that, we can see those data here. Now, in now in the quarter two April month data, we can see here. Suppose you want two month data, we can see here April May. Now within April, suppose you want some particular date. Like you see, whatever date we are including means uh, excluding. So values are getting changes here. So like this, it work here. If you want. We can date the date year by like 2016, 17, or we can take the multiple year like 2015, 16, 17. We can take those tip dates as well here. So this is, this is all about the slicer.